My name is Dawn Brooke Weens, and I'm playing Mrs. Gleeton. Dawn, you teach voice at Canadian Mennonite University, mm -hmm. and you perform here in the city, and you also have your own opera company. I do. I run an opera company called Flipside Opera, along with Judith Oatway and Lisa Rumpel. I not only teach university voice majors, but I do teach uh, people just wanting to sing in the community, and I really value um, that aspect as well. And it must be a really a wonderful experience for them to be able to c come and hear their voice teacher perform on stage in the production at Manitoba Opera. You know, I'm very lucky to be part of Susanna and to be able to sing um, at the concert hall again. Um, and I hope uh, that, uh, you know, my followers come and see it and I hope my students take advantage of that student night because it's such a fabulous deal. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the student night too is really cool because Sometimes there's a behind-the-scenes moment too, like uh, you know something that gets re-rehearsed, or um, you know it's not the final product yeah. yet, which I think is really cool as a producer. As someone who produces opera, what is a typical opera goer like in the city? Uh, I don't know if there really is a typical opera goer. There always has been a wide variety of audience members, from students um, to you know experienced opera goers. Um, it really, I think, opera can really be for everybody. With Flipside Opera, we try to make opera up close and personal. So. Um, we do these little events called um, Opera by the Pint uh, at Little Brown Jug. It's a local brewery and it's just singers coming up. Uh, it's unrehearsed. They sing their songs and, uh, and people drink beer. It's great. Uh, you have me at beer. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> uh, and we always have a sing-along at the end, so that's extra fun. After several beers. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, I guess. Fantastic. <laughs> Tell me what's coming up this season for Flipside. We are doing a co-production actually with Little Opera Company, another small opera company here in Winnipeg. Uh, it's called Opera Fright Night. Um, it's going to be on October 19th and 20th at the Franco Manitoban Center. And it's two operas that are meant to be a little bit scary and um, it would be great if people could join us. Maybe in their Halloween costume? Feel free. Be free. <laughs> Can we get the black cat in the Halloween fright night? <laughs> sure. It sounds like a great way to introduce yourself to opera and to become part of a, a big, wonderful opera community that exists here. Absolutely. It's a big community, but it's also a small world as well. So uh, the opera community here is uh, like a family. It sure is. It is. Yay. <laughs> So thanks, Don. We'll see you on the flip side. Absolutely. And at the square dance. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> awesome. That's great.